Women in South Carolina, especially women in rural areas of South Carolina, face disparities in healthcare. And these disparities may be related to such issues as cost, transportation, or simply shortages of healthcare providers in these areas. And so in 2014, one of our community partners actually approached us with the idea about developing a telehealth intervention. And so they came to the Women's Health Research Team because we have expertise in formative audience research. And this community partner really wanted to know what do women in the community, especially in rural South Carolina, how do they feel about telehealth? And is there an opportunity to develop a telehealth intervention in rural South Carolina to improve women's health? So in order to answer this research question, we developed a three-pronged research approach. First, we conducted 52 in-depth interviews with women in the target audience. So we went to rural South Carolina, we went to five counties, we went to Allendale, Beaufort, Colton, Hampton, and Jasper counties, and we talked with 52 women. We spent an hour at least with each one to talk to them about their opinions and perspectives of telehealth. Then, to complement that, we also conducted a case study of telehealth in South Carolina. So we went and did a document analysis, we looked at legal artifacts, we looked at news stories, and then we also talked with experts. So we talked with 11 experts and stakeholders throughout the state of South Carolina to really get a full picture of the opportunity to develop a telehealth intervention for women in South Carolina. My main role in the research was conducting interviews with the women in the rural counties that we were assigned. All of our participants pretty much said that uh, telehealth would provide many benefits to them in their healthcare access, namely cost. Uh, a lot of participants described financial barriers when um, attempting to access healthcare. Transportation issues were also noted by participants um, and having a telehealth center in their community that's more readily available to them would help them gain more access to healthcare. I think they have their concerns of confidentiality and privacy, but if we, those are handled appropriately for the telehealth programs, that they would be definitely willing to use those in their communities. It was really exciting to work with this team because I was able to hear what the stakeholders were saying and my other research partner was able to interview the participants and so we really gained a comprehensive view of what telehealth and telemedicine looked like right now in South Carolina. And some of the findings were that telehealth programs really haven't been fully utilized to the potential that they can be. And so this kind of gave a screenshot, a snapshot in time of w where we are now in South Carolina and where we can be. So on the Women's Health Research Team, we're really committed to translating our research into practice. And while our research findings are important for health communicators and public health professionals, they can really use these findings in the field when they're designing a public health intervention. We also want to make sure that the laws that are passed uh, are beneficial to women in South Carolina. And specifically, the South Carolina Telemedicine Act, which was signed into law by the governor in June of this year, we were able to impact that legislation. Originally in the bill, there was an exclusion. Physicians would not be able to prescribe contraception through telehealth. And of course, our research, we found that contraception was one of the things that women really need. And so by writing this testimony and really connecting with legislators, we were actually successful in getting them to remove that exclusion, which I think really paves the way for telehealth to be really effective and successful in reaching women in rural South Carolina and addressing their healthcare needs.